Nikola Tesla wasn't just brilliant, his inventions changed the world in ways that are still visible every single day. And though he's had a resurgence in notability in recent years, with a trendy electric car company named for him and numerous portrayals in film and television, he never quite got his due credit. Here's what you may not have known about his life. The popular legend about how Tesla was born might be a little too cinematic to be true. According to Hourly History's Nikola Tesla, A Life From Beginning to End, Tesla entered the world in 1856 in what is now Croatia, in the midst of a horrific lightning storm. Reportedly, the storm was so bad that the midwife got the willies and told Tesla's mother that the baby would be a, quote, child of darkness. Tesla's mother supposedly promptly told the midwife, no, he will be a child of light. Once Tesla's mother, an inventor herself, introduced science to her son, the boy's future was clear. Nikola loved studying science, and his schooling and research took him to Austria, Prague, and Budapest, where he ended up working for the Central Telephone Exchange. One day, on a leisurely walk through the park in Budapest, he randomly came up with the idea for what would one day be the induction motor, one of his greatest inventions. He soon dreamed of setting sail for the United States, and at age 28, he finally did so. According to the Tesla Memorial Society of New York, Tesla was able to immigrate to the U.S. because of a recommendation letter inventor Charles Batchelor wrote to famed Wizard of Menlo Park Thomas Edison, stating, I know two great men. One is you, and the other is this young man. Tesla promptly went to work for Edison. At the time, Edison's company was using direct current electricity, and the newbie Tesla proposed an innovative idea, replacing the inefficient direct current setup with alternating current. Edison scoffed at this, challenging Tesla to develop his ideas into a real invention, putting up $50,000 to sweeten the deal. Tesla gleefully pounced on the challenge, and within only a few months, he proudly offered Edison his successful results. But Edison refused to pay, brushing Tesla off with a mean comment about how Tesla didn't understand, quote, American humor. Tesla left Edison's company shortly afterward. As it turns out, Tesla was right. While Edison's direct current electricity flowed in only one direction, Tesla's alternating current changed direction 50 to 60 times a second, according to the Tesla Memorial Society of New York. Edison's setup required power stations to be built every two miles, making it a huge chore and financial burden to send power over long distances. Tesla's method changed that. What? Direct current may be fine for cities when the, when the buildings are close together, but most of your country is empty spaces. Only high voltage can span the distance. After Edison stiffed Tesla on his $50,000, Tesla turned to George Westinghouse for funding. Westinghouse saw the potential in AC and decided to spread Tesla's invention across the country, powering the entire United States. Tesla's most notable victory came in 1896 when one of his inventions harnessed the power of Niagara Falls, sending electricity all the way to Buffalo, New York. Tesla also created the Tesla coil, which would become the basis for how radios and televisions are powered. He also designed a remote control boat, a highly fictionalized version of which appears in the video game Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. He hoped it would forever end the use of manned battleships, sort of like how drones are used today. Tesla studied X-rays, invented electric oscillators and meters, worked with radio communications, and developed a so-called earthquake machine. He told the New York World Telegram in 1935 that he once triggered such a heavy earthquake in New York City that the police had rushed to his lab. Mythbusters even once tried and failed to replicate his experiment. According to PBS, Tesla at one point developed plans for a death beam which he claimed would send concentrated beams of particles through the free air of such tremendous energy that they will bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 250 miles. The idea was to develop a weapon so insanely powerful that it would deter any countries from ever going to war again. Tesla also envisioned automated labor and self-driving cars well before they were feasible. Tesla's biggest dream was to bring free, wireless electricity to everyone in the world, according to Biography. Where are the wires? Exactly. In 1901, banker J.P. Morgan funded Tesla's dream of building a giant transmission tower on Long Island, which Tesla called Wardenclyffe. But that project hit a tragic stumbling block when Tesla's investors second-guessed whether he could actually pull it off. The project ended, the employees were laid off, and Tesla went into bankruptcy by 1917. According to history, he once worked a manual labor job where he dug ditches for $2 a day. After the financial collapse of Wardenclyffe, 
He essentially became a hermit, living on the 33rd floor of the New Yorker Hotel, his primary companions being the pigeons who visited him there. It's been theorized that Tesla may have had obsessive-compulsive disorder. He was intensely careful about avoiding germs, washing his hands constantly, and avoiding handshakes at all costs, according to Prodigal Genius. He was also apparently obsessed with the number three. He would walk around a building three times before entering, and wash his hands three times in a row. The Smithsonian raised the possibility that he may also have been on the autism spectrum, citing his intense sensitivity to sounds, excellent sensory awareness, and severe dislike for both pearls and women's earrings. By the time he died in his hotel room in 1943, Tesla was seen as more of a bizarre science fiction spectacle than a brilliant icon, a perception which the Smithsonian argues may have been created by Tesla's, quote, willingness to play the mad scientist by making wild claims in tabloid magazines. According to a New York Times piece from 1984, it wasn't until nearly 40 years after Tesla's death that society began to acknowledge the sheer magnitude of his impact on the world. A brand new Tesla statue was unveiled on Long Island in 2013, and the Wardenclyffe site has been converted into the Tesla Science Center. The airport in Belgrade, Serbia proudly displays Nikola Tesla's name, and there are, of course, the electric cars that bear his name. Though Nikola Tesla struggled throughout his life, the history books will look back on him fondly. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite historical figures are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.